Hey, what's up, family? My name is Ayize Maat, and this right here is my incredible and amazing wife, Fiona Maat. Mm -hmm. Hey, we want to touch on a topic really quickly. Um, when it comes to you and your relationship and how you flow, far too often, um, you may find yourself operating from one or two spaces. Um, and it might not just be you. It might be your partner as well. Mm -hmm. Somebody's operating from the head and somebody's operating from the heart. Mm -hmm. Oftentimes, we find ourselves in situations that require the heart but we're busy up here, y'all. We're busy in our heads and it prevents us from really being able to connect in our relationship. And so essentially what you find yourself doing is intellectualizing situations, experiences without really connecting in with emotion. Right. Your feelings. Yes. Yes. And it's so critical, <laughs> y'all, yeah. for you to be able to include emotions in whatever you're experiencing. Right. So, you know, just let's give a real quick um, understanding on what intellectualization is. When we intellectualize, which many people, I, I mean, everybody has done in some way, shape or form, um, you know, sometimes it is helpful. It is strategic. It is needed um, because we also can have like that opposite um, kind of end of the spectrum where mm -hmm. we are um, super um, not just in tune with but overwhelmed by and run by our emotions mm -hmm. and we're not properly using our intellect to yeah. balance the situation but uh, but when we're intellectualizing something it's 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 this this sense or this need to um, place um, an overemphasis on thinking when you're confronted with something that makes you uncomfortable um, it's it's a, an impulse that you're having it's an emotional kind of challenge that you're having. Um, I want to give you just this. It says intellectualization is the overemphasis on thinking when confronted with an unacceptable impulse, situation, or behavior. And in those situations, there is no employing of our emotions, like my husband said, to mediate um, and to kind of help give balance to the situation. How many times has your partner presented you with something mm -hmm. and you just can't go there? You may have been aware that you couldn't go there. Mm -hmm. Like I just, I don't have time. I don't have the bandwidth to like kind of go there with you right now. So let's just solve the problem, right? Yeah. <laughs> I mean, how many times do we we hear couples talking about that? Be solution focused. Mm -hmm, solution focused, and most uh, uh, of the time, you know, folks are like that's good. But sometimes people just need to hear, "I love you," mm -hmm. "I feel you." Wow, that's that's rough. You know what? Let me just can I give can I give you a hug, boo? You know, and, and that's in a committed romantic relationship, but that's in all relationships. Yeah. Um, and so if you're a person who tends to intellectualize, you tend to take things in and you are, as many people call themselves, logical mm -hmm. and you analyze and that kind of thing. It can be a strength, but it can also be a defense mechanism and something that gets in the way of your ability to connect in not only with your partner, but with what you're really feeling on the inside. And when you are a person who says you want to commit to go into another level in your relationship, then you got to ask yourself, am I looking at the underlying stuff that's going on within me and within my partner and within the situation? That cannot be handled by intellectual analysis alone. You have to give your heart to the situation. You have to be willing to see it from your partner's perspective. You've got to emotionally engage. Mm -hmm. So today, we want you to take that in. And if this does not apply to you, send it to somebody who it does apply to. Mm -hmm. You have to make sure that you don't find yourself analytical all the time because we have to make sure that we're balanced in our approach with one another and with ourselves. But you know what? They can't do any of this, sweetheart. And they don't stop playing and start pushing. Do that, y'all. Stop playing yes. and keep on pushing. Bye. All right, peace.